In this video, I'm going to share with you the different type of crampon bindings for climbing and hiking boots. What are the different types of bindings that you could possibly use on your climbing and hiking boots? That way you can go hiking, climbing, adventuring, camping, glacier, climbing, or ice climbing. There are a bunch of different types and I'm gonna share with you these now. This is from a viewer, hopefully subscriber, Ryan Arafin. Please forgive me if I mangled your name there, Ryan. And he, Ryan says, could you make a video about the different types of crampons and crampon bindings, as well as the different types of crampon styles for mountaineering technical ice climbing? Well, Ryan, thank you very much for the suggestion. I just wanna put this in there real quick. I've talked about this in my book, Adventure Expedition One, gives you some good pointers in that. But also, if you're gonna do hardcore mountaineering climbing, like real hardcore, check out the link below to Mountaineering in the Freedom of the Hills. This is the ultimate Bible. As you can see, it's about as thick as a Bible, maybe a little bit bigger, for mountaineering and climbing. You can get that info in there too. But you want to see stuff, right? So there are multiple types of bindings. There's a basic strap type binding, like here. There is the cage toe welt style binding. There is the long flex style binding and then the ski tour binding as well. Oh, well, sorry, long flex, the strap style binding and the ski tour. I only have the standard plastic strap and then I have the toe welt and heel welt design because I don't have any one of the skiing ones. I wish I did for my skiing boots, but I figured out that I can actually put my Gravel G12s on there, no problem. And these guys, so first of all, there are different points or numbers of points to crampons. These are both 12 point crampons, meaning one, two, three, four, five, six per side, that is 12. A 12 point crampon is a good crampon for general mountaineering and glacier travel. Do note that there are 10 point crampons for general touring and hiking around. Let's see, the aluminum ones by Camp are super good. The Black Diamond Neve or Nev, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. They're only 10 point crampons where they're missing, I can't remember, I think it's this front fang here that they don't have that or the back one. I can't remember what it is. Check out links below in the description. But if you need some crampons that are relatively short, that are more than micro spikes, but they are not ready for glacier travel, a 10 point crampon is actually a very good choice because you can go marching out and have a good time. I went climbing and hiking with somebody in Rocky Mountain National Park in the winter and they had on standard camp crampons. I had on my micro spikes, or no, my, um, oh gosh, yak tracks. My yak tracks sucked. The other hikers had the 10 point super small camp crampons, blew what I had out of the water. That was pretty much the end of my yak track use. Those little small aluminum, I mean, they're just incredible. Now, do note there is a flexible one. It is by, Catula, I think, I always pronounce it Catahoula, but it's Catula. And they actually have a cramp on them instead of having a fixed bar, they actually have a flexible bar. And that thing is super nice because if you have light duty boots where you just need a moment, the problem is a stiff bar with a flexible boot. The crampon can actually separate from your boot. And I've seen people climbing on mountains where their crampons flopping around. It's dangerous beyond belief. So that type of boot, if you have this, the Catula flexible bar boot crampon is actually highly recommended because you can just use a lightweight boot. You know, I might have to buy myself a set. And you put that bad boy on there and it totally, totally works. By the way, there are instep crampons as well where you can just clip it into your boot and that works super good. But you talked about mountaineering and hardcore stuff. So that's where you get into the 12 point crampons. Now, the ski touring type crampons that are actually designed for your boot, they have a metal bail. It looks like a mouse trap, really. And it bails and hooks over the toe welt of your ski boot. It totally works. but. Most people, what you will do is you will actually see them with a plastic strap design here. So that can go over 
just about any boots. I've used them on here, not that great, but okay. I've used them on my heavier hikers. Super, super good, no problems there. I've used them on my Malays. They didn't fit so well. And my cube boots, you'll see a lot of people using the plastic strap design here. I do not like that because it is not absolutely confident in holding on to the toe of my crampon. I prefer the steel, I don't know if I can get it off here, the steel style where it actually grips onto what's called the toe welt of my boot right here. And there's no way that is coming off in any practical sense of the word. And then it clips onto the back of my boot with the heel welt. And I come up here and click this in and voila, this thing stays with 100% confidence because of this back system and this front system. Compared to these guys, they're relying 100% on the straps to hold your crampon onto your boots versus this actually has mechanical coupling that the straps are completely off and there is no easy way until I flip the heel lock for the crampons to come off. So that, if you're getting into real mountaineering and climbing, I can't, can't recommend this design enough. These are the Gravel G12s. There's also, uh, let's see, with a Black Diamond. Yeah, they, they make stuff, Petzl makes stuff. Uh, who else? Uh, Petzl, Gravel, uh, yeah. So this is the way to go if you really have mountaineering or ice climbing boots. There is also, if you'll notice, the fangs on the front are flat on mountaineering and glacier travel style crampons. However, if you're going to be doing ice climbing, those have a different set of front fangs, like the Cyborg, Cyborg Pro by Black Diamond and the Gravel G14 or the G22. Ice climbing crampons have fangs that are instead of flat, they're actually vertical and they're designed much more like your ice axe where they pick in directly into the ice. So if you're doing ice climbing, these are not the appropriate crampons to use because these flat fangs cannot handle that abuse. They're, they're forged and pressed, but they are not as hard as the, the vertical fangs on that style of crampon. So if you're really going to go to ice climbing, these aren't the ones to get, get the front vertical fangs. You can use the front vertical fangs for mountaineering, but most people go with this and uh, it's better to get the proper tools for the job. So hopefully this info gave you a little bit better idea of what type of crampon bindings there are and when to use them. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links below, including these two books, to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as check out my show, Antarctic Tears and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and smash that subscribe button so you can get more info like this.